Hi, Tammy Goble here talking about relationships. Relationships are tricky. You know that, right? My husband and I were driving in the car the other day and he said, so so so-and-so is getting a divorce. And I said, why? What happened? And he says, I don't know. He thought everything was fine and he came home and his wife just said, I'm done. I'm out of here. Getting a divorce. We're getting a divorce. And he was like shocked. He was shocked that she felt that way because he thought everything was okay. And I think, how can we be so unaware that things aren't going okay? How can we, you know, have it so shut off that we don't even know if things are going okay or not? So we talked about that a little bit and says, how, how do you, how can you not know, you know? And Things are, you, you usually know if things are rocky, unless you get to the shutdown point where you're not talking anymore, where you keep everything to yourself and he keeps everything to his self and you don't talk and communicate and share with each other how you're feeling or what can we do to make our relationship better. So my challenge is for you today is to check in with your love, make sure they are just as happy as you are in the relationship. Ask, is there anything that I can do to make our relationship better? Because I love you and I want to be with you forever. And what is it that I can do to make things better in our relationship? And ask that question and see what happens. Because we don't want to get to the point where there's no return. If it gets too bad and the other person is out, it's really hard to change their mind once once you've gotten to that point. I remember when I was in Salt Lake City, I was trying to get on the freeway and I was going one direction and I wanted to turn left so that I could get on the freeway. So I'm going down this road and I panicked. All of a sudden I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't even turn left there. Well, where, where can I turn left? And I kept going straight and there was a point where I just knew I needed to turn somewhere to get to the freeway. And, it, and I got completely off track. It took me like 10 extra minutes to get to the freeway because I had gone past the point of return. I could, not long, I could no longer turn to the left the way I needed to go because I had gone past the intersection too much that I would have killed someone trying to get back in, going the way I needed to go. So I had to go past, deal with a bunch of traffic, get on a road I've never been on before, and where there were stop signs every few minutes. It was not a, I, I didn't like the path, but I took the path and finally got back on the freeway where I wanted to be getting home. And I relate that story just because in our marriages, we don't want to go past the point of no return where there's no way you can turn and, and get back. But if you do get past that point, it's not over yet. There's still, it might be tough, it might be hard, you might be on roads that you do not want to be on, that are bumpy, unfamiliar, there's stop signs, you think you're going good, and there's stop signs every few minutes, every few seconds, like, like you get on a bumpy road and you just feel like you're never going to get off that road. But if you hang in there, and your commitment is to get back to the, to the spot in your marriage where you are both in love and both having fun and both enjoying life, then you'll make it. But it's about commitment. It's about deciding that it's worth it. Is it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it for me to get home. I'm not just going to go, oh, well, I missed my turn, so I guess I'll just wander this way for life for a while. No. I had to go through some stupid roads and some stupid turns and some frustrating stops, but I got back home where I wanted to get. just took longer, but it was worth it, of course. So is your marriage worth it? That's what you have to decide. And that if it is, awesome! So that's your challenge today, is to make sure everything's going good. You know in your heart if it is anyway, really. But if you want to go ask that question and say, what can I do to make our marriage more awesome? I already love it. What can I do to make it more awesome? Because I want to be with you forever and I love you. Those are some powerful words, some powerful sentences that your spouse would probably love to hear. I love you guys. Hope 
you can make it an awesome day today. Talk to you later.